Hi there, guys. It's us again. It's Tom Series 123. Very lucky to be on the second day of Eurogamer. Uh, you can see behind me now, I've got the PlayStation 4 stuff behind me, but loads of other games that we've already explored. Uh, now we're going to cut down to us on the floor, looking at the uh, PlayStation 4 in more detail. We had hands on experience with the console and with the controller. Join us down there now, guys. So then, here we are, people. It's been a couple of weeks since Eurogamer. Um, we've been able to sit back and uh, look at the fallout from Eurogamer and uh, how the PS4 has done. Uh, I'm here with TS3 Rules. Um, he was the one that actually queued up uh, in the line for over just under f just over four hours to get hands-on experience with the PlayStation 4. And um, we're just gonna have a little chat now to discuss what he felt the console. Because of course I haven't played it; it's just him. So he's gonna be all about him and any discrepancies that you find or you think is false. Take it up with him. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, we a lot of people asked us about USB slots, the accessories that you get, and the overall looks of the console. What, what did you think when you were actually there playing it? Yeah, the console looks really good. It's um the controller's great. That was the first thing yeah. the first thing I looked at was the, was the controller. How did and it that feel? feel feels really good. It's um heavier it is than heavier. the PS3's one. It's quite a lot bigger as you can see from the pictures. Um when I was playing games like Killzone they use the back triggers, you know, oh, instead, yeah, of, yeah. instead of L one and oh. R one to shoot they use L two and R two. Which is a bit different, but it's um. Is that similar then to the sort of like the Xbox? I think so. I is, is that, is that one of the reasons you think they've done it? So yeah, it is. Yeah, that's why they got little triggers. The the PS3 controllers were light. So they weren't that. They didn't feel like you were holding. Yeah, they're not big bit. enough. Mostly, I've yeah. got massive hands, and you do as well. And yeah. It doesn't bother us at all. But no. a lot of people, it bothers them for some reason. But yeah, they're a lot bigger, a lot he quite a lot heavier, and they just feel and really the, nice. And the sensor, it doesn't matter if you've got your hands over the sensor, does it? Or? No, no, that's um. I didn't. You don't actually notice. I didn't notice sensor that much. Is that I didn't purely, even look at that particularly. It's, is that really for the eye thing? Is it? Yeah, it's for the eye camera, and um, it's wireless. to tell you. Well, yeah, it's wireless, but it's to tell you if you're player one or two. So if you're player one, it's uh, blue, and player two, red. Right. Okay. But I don't think um, if it was on, I didn't really notice it. It probably was on. Yeah. But they can turn it off, can't they? Developers, yeah. So they may well have done. That's cool. Um, accessories. You know the Xbox three, uh, the Xbox uh, one eighty, uh, Xbox one comes with uh, that stupid camera thing does the the ps4 come with anything did you see anything on display there or people using that you should see they had the camera there i think but um i didn't no i didn't see that because yeah that. So that, there, was that was no, there was no game that they were actually they may well i think they had the playroom but i'm not completely ah, sure i didn't see that one i know that yeah, that would be the only thing they would have had. Yeah, because you can see from the footage, guys, that me and uh, Blue Pancake, actually, we have press passes, so we're able to wander in there without queuing just to get some footage. So the footage you're seeing is actually me and him wandering around, uh, getting some footage of people playing the games, giving an idea of the floor space. Because, of course, you did play a couple of games yourself. Yeah. You played the Shadowfall. Yep. Uh, what do you think of that? That's one of the Shadowfall big, that's one awesome, of the big yeah. ones that people Shadowfall are talking about. Shadowfall was really, really good. Um, was it multiplayer or campaign you were playing? It was multiplayer, yeah. Multiplayer. We... Um, I can't remember how many screens were, and it was six v six. There must have been twelve for it. It was yeah, it was, it was awesome. It was um, looked great. They've got it on sixty frames per second. Sixty frames per oh, awesome. And awesome. thirty frames per second of single player for some strange reason. I'm not, <laughs> not quite sure. But I was talking to a guy, one of the workers there, who when I was in the queue, and he was saying that the developers had been there earlier and saying apologise to everyone for the game not looking that great because it's um, it's it's not final footage. It's like if that's true. Because the guy's got no reason. I believe him. But I don't know if the developers tell the truth. I don't. There's no reason why they wouldn't. If yeah. that's true, that's pretty incredible. Because it looked, <laughs> it looked amazing already. And if that's not as good as it's going to be, it's not the final polish. <laughs> it's going to be. God. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> uh, another thing that people on Twitter and on our YouTube channel have been asking was the uh, the recording. Because a lot of us, like ourselves, we use an yeah. HDMI PVR. Uh, a lot of people I know use HDMI PVR and Elgato. Now, what's the situation with that? Are we going to have to change? Are we going to have to? Uh, can we use our existing recording? Or we don't have to get new a, a new software or something. We get it. Well, we have to. Don't we? we have to upgrade to um, the HP PVR two. HP PVR two. Two. Yeah. And I'm not sure about Elgato. We've looked into it, but I can't. Re I'm not really sure. I know because they weren't there. Elgato, as far as I know. But um, the Hagen Park, whatever they're called, people were there. And you oh, do yeah. have Silver to change. Silverback. I remember Silverback. Yeah, he Silverback. Was a legend. <laughs> yeah, you do have to change. Because there is there is a lot of ambiguity about this. I would have thought because YouTube has taken off in such a massive way the last two or three years of big commentators setting the way forward, you would have thought they they come out and instantly say to us to small YouTube channels such as ourselves and say, look, this is what you need. If you've got this already, you can yes or no use that. But I mean, I watched you trying to search for 
<laughs> for a while to find out what you need to do. And even the Huppenard guy that we saw. Yeah, like, he wasn't he, clear. He, he wasn't he, clear. He, 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 um, well, he was. He said you have to upgrade. But he, I don't think he even knows how Sony are going to do it because they've got the, in, the inscripted um, HDMI port. So oh, I, don't really? know, okay, so I don't know how that's going to work. It's, so converter cable or anything like that? I or? think... There was, they were saying a while ago that it was going to be inscripted for videos but not for games mm -hmm. so potentially it's going to be well it should be fine for games because obviously we're going to have to upgrade so it will be fine for games but it's if you're playing a blu-ray movie you might not be able to record yeah. it or something like that yeah because i was thinking if you like, like you say a shadow fall is at 60 frames per second and that's you know and the game you're playing was not the final polish then maybe the the, the recording devices we got at the moment just won't be good enough anyway to, to capture the they full... It shouldn't make a difference. No? It shouldn't make a difference. No, well, the the one we've got at the moment, the number one, uh, you can't connect through HDMI ports and that, so... Oh, uh, yes. And it doesn't go up to 180p, so... And I can't yeah. even remember what Shadowfall plays at. I don't know if it's 180p or not. So, to bring it back to the games, you did play more than Shadowfall, believe, <laughs> believe it or not. You played Nat. What did you think of that? Because that's one of the things... One of our exclusives, isn't it? I mm. think that they've been advertising a lot on the on the streams and the websites. Yeah. What do you think of that? It was disappointing. I only really? played it for a few moments, but it wasn't it wasn't great. I love platformers. Platformers probably my second favorite genre of games other than first person shooters, and it's it was very dull. Really? It was. I only played it for about ten minutes, but it didn't really seem anything special. It, it didn't drag you into no, anything. Was... It's. It could well, hopefully be a lot better than what I saw, but it was nothing special. So maybe just already a bit of chance. Yeah, possibly. I mean, I know Mark Cerny's involved in it, and he's you know he's done the the Vita, and he's involved heavily in the PS4. So hopefully, oh. hopefully it will be better than what we saw. Yeah. But it wasn't. It was nothing special <laughs> from what I played there. That's a pity because they put so much effort into marketing that as one yeah. being one of those explosive games where you can do anything. But yeah, no, like you say, never know. We we, we could be proved it, wrong. It's it been, was very known. dull. We've been known dull. to be wrong in the past, haven't <laughs> we, a couple of times? And finally, the last game that you played, Rezo Gun. Now that looked, graphically looks mental. Yeah, graphically <laughs> it's amazing. Um, I was shit on that. I, I, <laughs> I hadn't. I had queued up for about four hours. That might be why. But I, I haven't played Super Starless HD for a long time, and I was never particularly great at that. Mm -hmm. And. My go lasted, I don't know, about a minute. The guy before me got the second highest score on the leaderboard, so yeah, it so was you pretty cool. Spent more time watching yeah, him. Exactly, <laughs> it was quite cool because I was standing in line for ages. Well, you know, just queued up the whole yeah. line to actually get in the PS4 section, then queue up again, to play the game, and I was just standing in line for must be another fifteen minutes or so, just watching them play, and it was it was awesome watching it because they were pretty good at it. Because I know that Loz goes by um, Superstar to HD, doesn't he? He had that on his PC, and that looked amazing. That's a great game. It's a great game, but I, I haven't played it for a long time. So Shadowfall was the main game that you played. Yeah, Shadowfall yeah. was the main one, that, and that had another queue of like an hour, or two <laughs> hours, or whatever it was. That so, took a long time to get. Yeah, fantastic. So overall, feeling of the console, you're still excited for it after yeah. playing it. So sometimes I say never meet your heroes. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe were you a bit apprehensive after all the stuff? Because Xbox, of course, went through all their reversals. So were you thinking in the back of your mind that it it may not live up to the hype? No, that, not really. That... It was um. No, it was all the only thing that I really wanted to see was the controller, and the controller was great. That was the only thing that I was particularly. You didn't manage I guess, to smuggle one out, about. did you? No, unfortunately not. Damn. I tried. <laughs> I, did, I did try. But I, did, I did notice you running away with, with a couple <laughs> of guards, after you, which is why we struggled to find you at the end of that. No, the only the, that was the main thing was the controller, and the controllers were awesome. Brilliant. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up there. Um, coming next, we've got an interview with a lovely girl, lovely lady called Kirsty from Velocity, and uh, we're going to bring that to you now. Cheers, guys. Hey guys, it's Tom000123 and I'm here with Kirsty, lead designer here at uh, Velocity, the game you can see behind us now. Um, let's just do a little bit of a detail actually. So we, I spoke to a colleague of yours uh, previously and you've actually already got a title out, I believe. We've got a few titles out actually. So um, in 2010 we released a PlayStation Minis game yep. called Coconut Dodge. Coconut Dodge? Yep. And then um, after that in... April 2011, we released Velocity yeah. on uh, PSP Minis. PSP Minis, oh yes. Yeah. And that uh, that did quite well, so that got Sony interested in us. So is that how Sony came to... Yeah, so Sony, you know, the PSP Minis got something ridiculous, like I can't remember, it's like 83 Metacritic rating or something. Yeah. And so they asked us to do a PlayStation Vita version of it. Fantastic. Which is, um, it's got better art in it. I said that opened up the door to maybe experiment with more high quality software or maybe uh, give you a chance new, to 
be able to hire an artist, basically. So that was a good step. Um, well, we hired a little team, actually. So um, in the minis game, there were three of us working on it. Um, and then we're now 10. So yeah, so it's a quite a big jump. Things, yes, a lot to learn. Fun things like doing health and safety certificates, etc. Great. Um, so we released Velocity Ultra with the new graphics, but it's essentially the same game as a PlayStation Vita title. Um, that came out in May of this year, and we've been working on the um, sequel since. So the sequel's been in development for about six months. Six months already. So when, when would you be looking to maybe move it to, let's say, say it's pre-alpha? Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see behind us. We may bring up some footage now, but um, it looks amazing for a pre-alpha game. Um, so Thank when you. do you think you'll be able to move it into the next period of testing? Next period of testing? Well, we're constantly testing. Constantly testing. Yeah. Because um, programmers have to have something to do to fix <laughs> them. Uh, yeah, so we're looking at hopefully releasing it um, first half of next year. Of it depends year. how development goes, but that's our that's our aim. Um, yeah, and so this is the second one. Um, we decided to we were trying to figure out how we could build upon the first game. So you have, so it sort of follows on, does it? From yeah, the first so one? the first game was just top down only. You could um, teleport, and it was quite a unique take on the traditional vertical scroller. Okay. Um, genre and because we innovated on this the vertical scrolling shooter genre we want we didn't want to just do something kind of obvious with the sequel yeah so we decided to introduce the um, side scrolling platform thing um, to bring two genres together yeah, I, so I've, I'm in trying to think well, I was up there with the guys uh, think low the game I could not honestly think of one that's done anything like you've done like no, that's because you've got your top sensible. down you've done your side scrollers and then all of a sudden you combine the two was that a decision you made very early on or was it yeah some, it was so yes it, um, before Really, even Sony came to us asking us about a sequel. It'd been, yeah. Something that you'd already been thinking about as a team. So, was, yeah. it, was it easy to? Was it hard to come up with a way to combine them? Like the way you do it is, um, you dock the ship, and then your character, you take over the character in the space station. Was that hard to come up with, or did it sort of write itself as a, as, in, as you're in space? And well, it just felt like a natural progression. I mean, when you have a vehicle, you kind of want to get out of it. Yeah, yes, exactly, yeah. Especially like, like all those games, run like around. tank games and things like that. You want to get out and actually move around. So. And you, you've, incre you've included the same sort of uh, systems in space so you can teleport as a character, but yeah. not as far. We so want you've increased limitations and uh, a different gameplay experience, really. Yeah, because in a platform game, we can't let you teleport anywhere on screen because it kind of defeats the point of platforming, which yeah. is... Defe you know, you're working against gravity, basically. You're jumping and you're trying to get places. So if we let you teleport anywhere, there'd be no challenge. But what we did want to do is make sure that the controls between the two sections were identical, pretty yeah, much. So, so you otherwise it'd be completely otherwise, yeah. <laughs> confusing. So, um, so I, th I think we've done that. Yes, I mean, you've also, you've also, as a spaceship, you can't just teleport everywhere, get away with it easy, because the screen catches up to you, doesn't it? Yeah. So you've got to be very quick on the trigger. You've got to know where, not know where you're going. There are always hints in that, and um, but you've got to be quick. It's not, a, it's not just. Uh, you can't hang around. Exactly. You can't hang around. You can't just teleport here, 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 and get all the objectives. You've got to make some time decisions which way you want to go and how you want to play it. So, talk about the platforms. Uh, any other projects planned after this one? Have you got anything else in the pipeline that you're possibly? We've got plenty. Of ideas. Plenty of ideas. Yeah, I mean, we've really kind of just started this game, so you know, we need to have a good chunk more of work done on it before I think we can start thinking about the next thing because we're tied up with working on this for you know, would at you least. Looking, sorry, would you be looking to stay in the same sort of area, so top down and side scroll, or would you be looking to bring another new dimension to that? Maybe? Um, I think where we work well is putting a new take on existing genres so I don't think we will necessarily I don't know I mean we you know we've got lots of different ideas um, and we've not settled yet on the next one we want to do but I think what we do know is as a studio we work well at um, taking existing genres in slightly different directions so you've done it very well because at no, no point does the side scrolling feel like it's just tapped on oh it, thank you it feels like it's a natural progression like you said earlier and it works really well so thank you very much for your time oh well, thank you thank you so much you too.